Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look how you can add sound and music to your game in Buildbox. So the idea of the game is you get the key, you go to the door, you open it, then you click on the clock to start the music playing, and then you toss the clock from the door so no one would be able to stop the music. We'll use Adventure Template to show how you can add sound. For Windows users, for sound to work properly, you need to install OpenAL. So you can find the downloads here, and you select a Windows installer, download that, and run the installation. That will make the sound work properly on Windows machines. So if you haven't done that, do that before you start working with sound. Let's start by looking how to add background music. To do that, we need to go to Mind Map. And in our Mind Map, we can add music by selecting our UI screen. And in our Option window, we can drag and drop music. Currently, Buildbox supports MP3 files. And we can drag and drop the file into the music location. And you can click Play to preview it. There is also a loop music option, so you can check or uncheck that if you want the music to loop. Some of the MP3 files might not work with Billbox. What you can do is try to re-export it with audio editing software. There is a free one that you can use. It's called Audacity. Download and install it for your OS, and we'll demonstrate how you can export it. So here's the software. We can drag and drop the file that doesn't work inside here. And we can go then click File, Export, and MP3. And then we can rename the file. And the default settings work for Buildbox. So we can click Save, and then OK. And that creates the file. So this music didn't work before, so we drag and drop it here. And if we click Play, it shows us it's playing, but we can't hear any sound. So if we drag and drop our re-exported one, and then we click play, now we can hear it play. So this is one of the ways you can solve the issue if the music is not playing. Some of the things to keep in mind when you are adding music and sounds to your game is that Billbox currently does not have a way to control the volume of your music. So you need to do that in your audio editing software. So for instance, the one we just imported, that is pretty loud for a background music. So we can go back to Audacity and in here on the left, we have this gain option and you can use this to decrease the sound. So let's put it negative 24 dB and let's click play. And we can look at our levels right here, and we can use that to determine how loud we want to play. Personally, I think keeping in background music from negative 20 to negative 24 dB is a good target to go towards, but it will also vary for the type of music you're playing. So after we're done adjusting our gain, we can export the music again, export number three, and let's rename it, save, okay. And now we can uh, drag that one in, in place, click play. And now we can hear that the music is much quieter. So this was a little bit outside from Billbox, but I think for some of you, this will be really helpful. So this is the option you have for playing music. You can go into your UI screen and inside UI, we have the audio button which you can drag and drop into your UI screen, and you can use that to give the ability for the player to turn on and turn off sound. Let's test that out, click play. And here now we have the music playing in background, and when we click on the icon, the music stops, we click again, it starts again. We have different functions available that you can use to turn off all sound, sound effects, or background music. So you can use this to create two buttons for turning off background music and turning off sound effects. 
we'll switch it to use background music right now so let's select background music and now if we click that button that should turn off our background music now let's go back to our 3d world let's show how you can add sounds to your assets so in this template we have a key let's add a sound effect to our key to do that let's open the door key what we want to do when we get if collide to start playing the sound we can go to content and find the sound here connect it to if collide and then you can just drag and drop your sound effect you can listen to it so that's the sound effect and that's all you had to do to add sound effect to your game so let's click preview and we have our background music started and can click mute and that's going to mute our music and let's go pick up the key and there it is we got our sound effect when we picked up the key now let's demonstrate what options we have for sound to do that we'll go to 3d world and let's find our clock right here and let's add a sound here and for this sound let's use one of the mp3 files that we already imported and you can find that by going to the sound and clicking that edit button once we click that edit we can find all the files that we added to build box so let's select the very first one so the other options we have here is looped which is the same option that we have for music and overlapping now let's demonstrate what overlapping does to do that let's add a is touch node and connect it to our sound so the idea here is if we click on the clock the music should start playing so let's preview that let's mute our background music and you can see that if we click anywhere nothing happens but if we click on the clock our music starts playing now what overlapping does if we click on the clock one more time the music starts playing again but it's overlapping the previous one so if we continue clicking on the clock we're just gonna have the music play overlapping each other and it's gonna be a huge mess so that's what overlapping does so and it's good to use overlapping for effects that you find that overlapping is gonna work for and usually those sound effects are really short so you don't get too much of them overlapping at the same time now if we turn off overlapping and click play now let's turn off our background music and now if we click on the clock it starts playing but as soon as we release it the music stops so if we click on it and hold the mouse down the music is going to continue playing and as soon as we release it the music will stop so when we turn off overlapping whenever we send true to sound it starts playing and whenever we send false to sound it stops playing and this is exactly what is touch does when we touch an item a true gets sent when we release the item a false gets sent and we can see that in the code right here so we have the result hit so if it's hit it sends true or if we use ray casting is touched and it sends true and then when touch is ended then a false gets sent and that's what turns off the music also when overlapping is off if you send multiple times true to the sound it will restart the track from the beginning so if you send true and it's already playing it will restart the track now let's try something interesting let's make an effect that when we click on the clock the music starts playing and then when we click on the clock again the music stops playing we'll still use the is touch but now we want to use a switch and switch only looks for true values so that's good for us because we want to switch the state only when we get true from is touch and then what we want to do is connect b to sound and that's all we had to do to make it work and the reason why this would work because for the switch note whenever we switch the state it always sends the value so in our case the default value for a is true and the default value for b is false which will make sure that the sound is not playing to begin with when we trigger the switch 
With our is touch, the state changes to B to be true and A to be false. So a true value gets sent from B, which turns on our sound. Then when we trigger the switch again, the state of A gets set to true and state of B gets set to false, which sends false signal to our sound and it stops playing. And we can click edit and we can see that how it's set up in the script. So if emit on start, which is turned on by default in our options, we receive A true and B false. And then whenever we switch the states, it does the switch. So let's click preview and see it work. Let's mute the background music. And now if we click on the clock, we can hear the music starts playing. And if we click on the clock again, the music stops. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked the video, click on the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.